If you're a Star Citizen pilot or a fan of sci-fi, the Ornithopter from Dune must be the best thing ever to make its way into Flight Sim 2020. I've been sharing a few clips already on Reddit yesterday showing its epic capabilities and in this video I'll run you through some of the basics to get you set up for piloting your Ornithopter in much the same fashion. First things first, we gotta do some pre-work. Head on into the accessibility settings. Then under the pilot section, turn off auto power while braking and the ground collision avoidance. These settings are new to the ornithopter and they might help keep you safe, but they also limit your agility and force you into a stable hover whenever you don't input any controls. Next up, we're hitting the control section. Search for Orni and make sure to bind glide mode, dive mode, wing brake, and the new afterburner. This is all unique to the new Ornithopter. You'll also want to bind the normal wing fold button if you haven't done it before. This one is important for when you are landed on the ground and your wings are folded. You need to use this button to unfold the wings. Okay then, time to get familiar with the Ornithopter. Let's climb in and check out the many exciting controls available. The Ornithopter offers flight characteristics never seen before in Flight Sim 2020. It brings us one step closer to something like the sixth off flight experience from Star Citizen. The throttle makes the wings move faster. It allows you to perform vertical takeoffs and fly around much like a helicopter. Let's say up and down. You can pitch forward and backwards to move in those directions. You can yaw to turn left and right. And of course you can roll to strafe in either direction. When low to the ground, you experience ground effect too, meaning that you'll need less power to stay afloat. However, as you speed up and gain altitude, don't forget to increase power so that you don't hit the ground. Let's raise our gear and get flying. With a normal helicopter, you can only go forward by pitching forward. With the Ornithopter, this isn't necessary since it has main engines too. It takes a second to get used to, but if you want to go fast, don't pitch forward or you're going to hit the ground. So to go forward in level flight, all you have to do is hit the afterburner button. I wish that this afterburner was bindable to an axis, so we decide how much power we give, but for now, unfortunately, it is a binary on and off switch. So now that we're flying a bit faster, we can still pitch, roll and yaw, and experience similar effects as a normal airplane. Our wings are still moving too, even though we don't really need the vertical lift from them when we're going so fast. They actually provide a bit of drag, limiting the top speed. So let's turn them off and enter glide mode. As you can see, they've stopped moving now, and the afterburner is still pushing us forward. When flying with limited fuel, the afterburner runs out of power quite fast, so keep an eye on that. Gliding like this is pretty cool. You'll notice that you have less agility, but you can glide for ages. Let's trade some of this altitude for speed now by diving. By pressing the dive button, the wings fold in quickly and you'll start diving down rapidly, gaining airspeed. From a dive, you can either click the dive button again to put you in a normal mode again, or click the glide button to go straight back into glide mode. The system is really flexible and allows for some epic flight combinations. Let's combine all this and get dancing. The Ornithopter has one more trick up its sleeve, wing brake. Holding this button down will position the wings automatically to slow you down into a hover really quickly without having to change the attitude of your craft. With a normal helicopter, you'd have to counter pitch, sort of pull back on the stick to slow down. But with this thing, you really don't have to. The 
Wing Brake is a really clever tool because you can hold it down facing in any direction and slow down quickly, while retaining control over your thopter. Not like Star Citizen's Space Brake where you can't do anything. You can still go up and down, strafe left or right, or go forwards or backwards, all while holding the brake button to help you stabilize quickly. Honestly, CIG can actually learn a thing here. And then, when you're nice and stable, you can let go of the brake button, set her down, and fold those beautiful wings. And there you have it, the Ornithopter from Dune in Flight Sim 2020. In my opinion, one of the best aircraft to be added to the game. It's an entirely new way to explore Earth, or Arrakis. Your choice. Two, one, dive. Three, two, one, glide. <laughs> oh, that hurt my brain. Oh, dude, that was too fucking good.